Hi everyone, I hope you are all having a wonderful day. I'm Dorothea from Crowby Patterns and today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable baby mittens. As always, you can find the written instructions on my blog crowbypatterns.com and a PDF pattern with one additional size in my Etsy and Reverly shop. This is a tutorial for 0 to 6 months. The pattern is made in 3 steps, so the ribbing around the wrist area, the main part, so the mitten and the pom-pom. But before we start, let me show you what you will need for this tutorial. I will be using some DK weight yarn, this is a paint box baby DK yarn, it's a 45% acrylic and 55% nylon yarn, it's a super soft and perfect for baby items. I will be using two shades of yellow, so 720 and 722. You will also need stitch markers, a pair of scissors, 4.0mm or G6 crochet hook and a yarn needle. Let's start with the tutorial. We will start with the ribbing. Take a yarn in a dark yellow shade and create a slip knot. Insert the hook into the loop and build a foundation chain made of 9 chains. Turn and create your first stitch into the second chain from the hook. So insert the hook into the loop, yarn over, pull the loop through, yarn over again and pull the loop through and you've created your first single crochet stitch, 7 to go. Work one single crochet into each chain all the way to the end. Let's create our second row. From now on, work in back loops only. If you look at the top of each stitch, you can see a little V or little heart shape. Each heart is made of two loops, front loop and back loop. The one further away from you is a back loop. The front loop will stay undone. We will start with chain 1. Work one single crochet stitch into each stitch all the way to the end of the row. So 8 stitches in total. If you're having a hard time to decide which stitch is the first and which stitch the last one in the row, use two stitch markers and always mark your first stitch of each row. This way you will not gain or lose any stitches and the number of your stitches will always stay the same. When you finish this row, continue crocheting rows of single crochet stitches until you have 24 stitches in total. Make sure you work into back loops only. You can pause the video here and meet me back when you have all 24 rows of single crochet stitches or as many rows as you need to achieve the desired length of your ribbing. Now that you have 24 rows of single crochet stitches or as many as you need to achieve the desired length of your ribbing, Join both ends of the ribbing together with a row of slip stitches. Now chain 1, insert the hook into the very first loop on both ends of the ribbing and create your first slip stitch. So insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull the loop through all the loops on your crochet hook. This is your first slip stitch. 
7 stitches to go. Now that the ribbing is finished, cut the yarn and pull the loop through. Turn the ribbing inside out so that the seam will be in the inner side of the ribbing and continue with the main part. Take a yarn in a light yellow color, join the yarn with chain 1, Start in the same stitch, now work one half double crochet into each row on the ribbing. So yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull the loop through, yarn over again and pull the loop through all the remaining loops on your crochet hook. As you can see here, I'm crocheting my first few half double crochet stitches around all the yarn tails to secure them between the stitches. You can do that as well or you can do it later with the help of your yarn needle. Now make sure you are crocheting one half double crochet stitch into each row on the ribbing. So one half double crochet into each row all the way around, 24 stitches in total. If you needed a larger ribbing than I did here and you added let's say 5 additional rows because that was the number of rows you needed to fit the circumference of the wrist, you would have to add 5 additional half double crochet stitches into your first round. So one half double crochet for each additional row and you will end up with 29 stitches in total. Now that you finished your first round, join the round with a slip stitch into the very first stitch of the round. Now that you finished your first round, you can if you use the same technique as I did and the yarn tails are now nicely secure between the stitches, go back and cut the yarn tails. Let's start with round 2. Chain 1. Start in the very first stitch and work one half double crochet into each of next 24 stitches or as many stitches as you created in round 1. Skip the slip stitch from the previous round and join the round with a new slip stitch. 
Now continue repeating round two six more times. So you have to have eight rounds of half double crochet stitches in total. You can pause the video here and meet me back when you finish all eight rounds of half double crochet stitches or as many rounds as you need to achieve the desired length of your mitten. Here we are at the end of round eight. Now cut the yarn, pull the loop through and continue with a yarn in a light yellow color. Join the yarn with chain 1 and start in the same stitch. I will start this round right here where I finished my last one, next to the slip stitch, in the very first stitch from the previous round. You can start anywhere you like, but make sure you skip the slip stitch from the previous round, because if you accidentally crochet into it, you will end up with one additional stitch in this round. Work one half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. Finish the round with 24 stitches in total. Join the round with a slip stitch. Chain 1. Now join 2 and 2 stitches together with a half double 2 together stitch. So repeat half double two together stitch 12 times or as many times as you need to go through all the stitches. Join the round with a slip stitch. We are now in round 11. Chain 1. Work one half double crochet into each of next 12 stitches or as many stitches as you have from round 10. Make sure you skip the slip stitch from the previous round and join the round with a new slip stitch. This is our final round, round 12. We are now going to chain 1 and then we are going to do the same thing as we did in round 10. So we are going to join 2 and 2 stitches together with a half double 2 together stitch. I have 12 stitches from my previous round, that's why I'm going to work half double 2 together stitch 6 times all together. If you have more stitches, continue working half double 2 together stitches until you reach the end of the round.
joined the round with a slip stitch Cut the yarn and fasten off, but leave a long tail because we will need it to close the hole on the top of the mitten. Turn the mitten inside out. Take the crochet hook and pull the yarn tail through the hole on the top of the mitten. Take a yarn needle and close the hole with a few simple stitches joining all loops from round 12 together. Secure the yarn tail between the stitches and you're ready to move on to our final part of the mittens, creating two tiny pom-poms. Take a small amount of both shades of yellow yarn and start wrapping them around two of your fingers. The density of your pom-poms depends on how many times you wrap the yarn around your fingers. I would go with 12 to 15 times or even more. Cut the yarn, take a small amount of yarn and tie it around the middle of the pom-pom and make a nice and firm knot. Take a pair of scissors and start cutting the yarn. Cut all the yarn ends that are too long and make a nice and round pom-pom ball. When you've completed your pom-pom, you are ready to move on to attach the pom-pom on a mitten. I will be doing that by using two long yarn ends that left from one of our previous steps. Then thread a yarn needle with one of the yarn ends and run a couple of times through mitten and a pom-pom just to make sure the pom-pom is nicely secured. After that hide both ends between the stitches and your first mitten is now complete. Repeat all the steps for the second mitten and you are done! Okay guys, that would be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click on the notification button and you will get notified every time I post something new. If you decide to make these baby mittens or follow any of my crochet patterns, make sure you share your work with me on Instagram using hashtag Krobi patterns. You guys are super talented and I really enjoy watching your work and see how creative you are all. So please share with me what would you like to see next in the comments below as well as if you have any questions or personal tips and tricks that you might want to share with us thank you so much for all of you who are buying my crochet patterns you guys are just awesome with your help i can buy new yarn crochet hooks stitch markers filming equipment and i can design new crochet patterns and really do what i love to do so much and share all of it with you guys so thank you don't forget to say hello in the comments below have a wonderful day happy crocheting and until next time bye